Hey everyone, welcome to Mel's Simple Meals. I'm Mel, if you're new here, and as you see, I am participating in this amazing Italian feast. I get to make the side dish, and I'm gonna make some amazing Brussels sprouts. They're gonna have pancetta and Parmesan cheese, balsamic vinegar, and some other surprises. So come on and join me. So if this is your first stop on this Italian Feast collaboration, you'll have to go to the channels listed below to see the full meal. Five other channels. This is the awesome brainchild of Rock and Raffi's Home Cooking. And somebody's going to be doing the soup, somebody's going to be doing the salad, another person's going to be doing the main dish. Just so much fun that all over the country we can get together and make one meal together. I've got some really fresh, beautiful Brussels sprouts here that I've just rinsed off in their hole. So I'm going to get them cleaned up and chop them up. Just chopping off the ends and then I'm going to quarter them. And I never really worked with Brussels sprouts a whole lot growing up. Obviously, I have a similar experience like everybody does from childhood that you tried Brussels sprouts when you were a kid and they were probably bitter and they didn't taste very good. And I just want to show you guys that that is not the case when you prepare them with the right ingredients. It's going to be delicious. No idea how true it is, but they say that when you cut Brussels sprouts in half that it releases some of the bitter taste that they might have. So I'm going to keep chopping these up and then I'm also going to run them under some cold water just because now I've exposed more of the leaves and I want to make sure that they're nice and clean. Next you're going to need one can of artichoke hearts. Go ahead and drain it. All we're going to do is cut these in half and then peel them apart. These are going to cook down a lot in the Brussels sprout recipe, so you can keep them as big as you like. Next is a pretty special ingredient. These are actually wild leeks that are from my father-in-law. If you guys don't have wild leeks, don't want to go foraging for them, shallots will be fine or any sort of onion. But I have these and I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to use them. One really big one, so you could do five. One tablespoon of butter. Our next ingredient is probably my favorite and it is pancetta. This little four ounce container was about five dollars. I have two of these. So pancetta is just like bacon except for it is not smoked. So pancetta is basically an Italian bacon it's made with pork belly. It has such a nice salty flavor to it. already smells amazing. Next we'll add our garlics and our leeks. And we're just going to add in all of our artichokes and our Brussels sprouts. This kitchen is so fragrant right now with the leeks and the garlic and the pancetta. Oh my goodness. Just beautiful. Gonna spray the Brussels sprouts with some avocado oil. Gonna go ahead and close the lid on the Ninja Foodie here. I'm gonna hit Air Crisp 390 and start. 
And this is what we look like at the 15 minute mark. It's looking so good. I love all the crispy brown bits. And then now for the last five minutes here, I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of um, some brown sugar. And I'm just gonna try to break it up over top of the Brussels sprouts. This will also help reduce some of the bitterness and we're gonna have a little bit of a sweet and salty sort of combination going on. And I've just been stirring every so often. That's what's nice about the foodie is you can just lift the lid, check on things, and keep stirring away. So we'll go for another five minutes. Our five minutes is up and we have this crispy, golden, beautiful combination of flavors here. We're just going to add a couple more things to put it over the top. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. I'm going to add just a little bit more salt. One of my favorite ingredients ever here is this balsamic glaze. It's just a reduction of balsamic vinegar, but it's sweet and delicious. Don't want too much to overpower. Some really nice fresh shaved Parmesan and I find that that really just kind of offsets any bitterness and it also just brings all those flavors together because it goes so good with the sweetness of the balsamic but it's also a little bit salty. Alright let's plate it up. Look at all that goodness in there. The pancetta, the artichokes, Yum, yum. Definitely safe to say, not your mama's Brussels sprouts. If you guys have ever tried Brussels sprouts and didn't like them, I challenge you to try these. All right, let's give them a taste. Gotta get a perfect bite with artichoke, cheese, pancetta, crispy Brussels sprout. just phenomenal. There's that sweet, salty kind of combination of flavors that just pairs perfectly with the Brussels sprouts. The texture of the pancetta, it's a little bit crispy but then still soft. I think that's going to go perfectly with the main dish. So as we all know, garlic bread is going to definitely be the main side, but this would be perfect if somebody wasn't eating bread or if you just wanted to have something a little extra. Seriously, you guys are not going to believe how good these are. They have so much flavor. Alright, I'm going to list off these channels. Make sure you guys check them out for this Italian feast. This is just a side dish. Alright, so Cooking with James is going to have the soup. Then Bottle Cat Barbecue is going to have the salad. Mike over at the Culinary Cookhouse is going to be doing a fabulous appetizer. Cooking with CJ is going to do the main dish. Here's my side dish and then wrap it all up with a wonderful dessert at Rock and Raffi's Home Cooking. Thank you guys all so much for having me participate in this. It was so much fun and I love this Italian feast. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.